I'm Dr. John, and this is your Maintenance Minute. Look, an astute subscriber asked me if I could do a short video on failure mode, so I want to present this very simple chart to you on a discussion about failure modes. Here's what we got from the Maintenance and Reliability Management course a diploma program at North Carolina State University. This is from their third module. It says that a description, a failure mode is a description of the manner in which a component or equipment failure manifests itself. That's very close to what Ramesh Galati says in his book, and again, I believe he's out with the third edition, but what he's got here in the second edition is that a failure mode is an event that causes a functional failure, or once again, the manner of failure. That's from Ramesh Galati. Here's what I know. If you took the P to F curve, I've got a little simple P to F curve here, and this represents you and me standing at the end, just sort of looking up the P to F curve. What are we actually going to see coming towards us? What is that manner of the failure? What are we looking at? And you want to write a failure mode uh, sort of in this formula. You want to put X, you know, whatever the component is, and then what the failure is due to Y reason. The number one failure in most manufacturing plants is that the bearing seizes due to improper lubrication, and you can get improper lubrication many ways. How about this? How about a drive belt, a V-belt? Belt wears due to normal usage, right? So that's a normal usage. A belt, it's a rubber component going across metal shivs. It's just going to wear, right? A chain is going to elongate. Uh, motors are, are going to have their failure modes, and, and the cylinders, their failure modes. But you want to speak to it in these terms again, X, the component, and whatever the failure is due to Y reason, because it's for this purpose that we are now going to prescribe the correct preventive or corrective maintenance. For example, the bearing that seizes due to improper lubrication. Our strategy against that failure mode, if you will, is to have an awesome lubrication program. Dedicated oilers, consolidated greases and oils, a grease and lubrication routes, maybe some auto lubers, but someone overseeing the program, great storage, great transportation, and great administration uh, of the documentation, and then a great application of the oils and greases. That is our strategy against that failure mode. If the failure mode is, again, the belt wears due to normal usage, our preventive maintenance now is going to be looking for signs of wear on a belt. Is it fraying? Is it glazing? Are there missing components? You know, there, there's probably going to be some just during, during normal usage, but we're going to be looking and measuring for excessive wear and then take action based on that. Look, a very hard concept to, to grasp, but once you understand failure modes and once you're able to write them in this little formula right here and think about looking back up the P to F curve, once you've solved this little mystery around creating and identifying failure modes, Failure mode effects analysis, reliability centered maintenance, preventive maintenance optimization, all these will be a lot easier for you because this is the singular most frustrating part about those three types of methodologies is to identifying failure modes. So get smart on this. I think this should help you. I'm Dr. John and this has been your Maintenance Minute.